Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tyron. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade and install the DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. So I've got the free version here, which is DaVinci Resolve 17, and we don't have the Studio word here, so it means that we're using the free version at the moment. I'm going to be upgrading to the paid version, which offers various benefits. So for example, on the main DaVinci Resolve Studio, there are lots of benefits compared to the free version of the software. The free version is pretty much fully featured, but there is more stuff in the paid version, including GPU acceleration, etc. And what I found is that the website is a little bit hard to navigate. It's a little bit hard to see where you actually have to download DaVinci Resolve Studio. The free version, you can just go ahead and click on it, but if you click on anything to do with DaVinci Resolve 17 here, it basically takes you to a buy page. Now, if you're like me and you've already purchased the software, I got it free with my speed editor. But basically, it's not very clear where to actually download it if you already have an activation key. Here, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to go to do is go to the support center and go to the DaVinci Resolve and Fusion section, which is this button here. And basically, this tells you where the actual latest downloads are. On the left, we have DaVinci Resolve 17.4.2. So actually, this is the actual free version of the software. It's not the paid version. We have the paid version right here, which is DaVinci Resolve Studio 17. So what I'm going to do is to click the Mac OS X button here, and we're going to download the software. So here it's asking us to register. You don't necessarily have to register. You can just download it and then activate the product with your activation key on its own. So here we're going to click download only. And now that started a download process. The speed of this will depend on your internet connection is 2.5 gigabytes in size. So just be aware that your DaVinci Resolve projects are all going to be the same. DaVinci Resolve Studio is a different version of the software. You can't just upgrade the free version directly. We have to do this separate download. However, all of these projects are going to be compatible whether you're using the free version or the paid version of the software. So you can just continue where you left off, especially if you're using the free version. I'm going to close down DaVinci Resolve and quit it here. So now that the software is downloaded, I'm going to open up Finder and go to the Downloads folder, and I'm going to double click on the zip file which is just downloaded. And this will extract the installation files. So now we have this DMG, we're going to double click to mount it. And now we have this install resolve 17.4.2, which I'm going to double click. Here we're going to press continue, and then continue, and continue, and then agree, and install. Type in your password and then click install software. So once the software is installed, we're going to click close, and then move to bin. So now I'm going to go to my Applications folder. I'm going to double click on DaVinci Resolve. And here we're going to double click on DaVinci Resolve here. So now it's asking for our activation key, which I'm going to type in now. So once that's complete, we're going to open up one of our projects. And if I go to the top left and click About DaVinci Resolve, I can now see that we have the studio wording on this About page. So this is all fully installed. So if you want to check out how to get a free speed editor with your DaVinci Resolve Studio purchase, then please check out the link in the description for my video there. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.